Cowboys got five Pro Bowlers after having none last year. That's fire. That's dope, man. But what that mean for the offense? Good people. It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk. Right back like I never left. What's going on with y'all, man? Late night CFT. <laughs> Sorry I keep coming at y'all late, man. Christmas is busy. Y'all can probably hear my kids in the background right now. Christmas is busy. Moving around a lot. <sighs> Trying to get this stuff together, man. But, you know, paying attention to what's going on with the team, of course. And um, the biggest news of the day so far outside of, you know, prepare, uh, preparation for Washington is um, five Pro Bowlers name. You know what I'm saying? And that's dope, man. That's dope. We got five Pro Bowlers. I like to um, see our players' hard work get recognized, you know. Um, Micah Parsons, um, Trayvon Diggs, you know, salute to our young guns. You know, then, then you know, some people that consistently always make the list, Ty Smith, um, Zach Martin, and punter, Brian Anger, which is dope, man, because y'all remember what we did with, with Jones. Or punting was a big issue. So to go from – you know, it being an issue to having a Pro Bowl punter, even though it's a punter, that's dope, man, because special teams is important. So I'm happy about that. And I really want to salute to Michael Parsons coming in and being an amazing, amazing player, man. That's dope. He has changed the whole thought process of the defense. Trayvon Diggs taking that leap, becoming a, a, a all-pro type corner. You know, in my eyes, he is one of the best corners in the league. I love his technique. It's different than most other corners, but his ball skills are unmatched. He is amazing. Pause. Um, I'm happy about that, man. Y'all know what Ty Smith do. Y'all know what Zach Martin do. You know, legends, gold, gold jacket wears. So that's dope, you know. Um, but I was thinking, you know, because that's what I do. You know, what does this mean for the offense? You know, the group that we, of course, and Cowboys Nation hold in the highest regard. See, we, we we are almost afraid to give the defense too much credit. And not just me personally, just overall. Like, everyone's excited about the team. Um, some of us diehard fans know how amazing it is to have this, this great defense. But then there's a lot of fans, and I understand, that just can't quite, you know, get excited yet because they worried about the offense. Because they feel like this team is only offense. And the defense is a mirage and all this extra stuff. And, you know, believe what you want to believe. But, you know, football is a sport. It's, it's an alpha male sport. You know what I'm saying? These dudes take pride in what they do. You know, very prideful. Um, they look for anything to put a chip on their shoulder. You know, something else to drive them. And I know the last couple of weeks, um, maybe three or four weeks, the offense hasn't performed to the standard of what everyone would want you know, and you can pick your levels of outrage. You know, you can be like myself, knowing that they're going to get back right. Or you can be like some people that just, ah, the offense is done forever. It, you, you you do the sliding scale. But to watch players get selected to the Pro Bowl, you know, and for our offense to be as highly touted as it was, and to still be recognized that I think the, 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 the first scoring offense, I think we moved in the first because of Tampa. And I think we're – um like third or fourth in yards, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, because um, I'm going off the top of my head, and to have no offensive skill players get selected to the Pro Bowl, how you think that sit with them? You know, how you think it sit with like somebody like C.D. Lamb that Justin Jefferson is excelling? You know, that's the that's the that's the good conversation. Who's better, C.D. or Justin? I can't even really fight that battle right now, and I love C.D. Lamb. I feel like CD's going to eventually be better than him. Right now, I can't fight that battle. CD has multiple games with three drops, I think, in the last couple of weeks. I think in the Washington game and in the Giants game, he has three drops in both, both those games and other drops in the season. You know what I'm saying? And CD's amazing. Walk-off touchdowns and all that. But the drops is part of his game right now, too. And Justin Jefferson is just excelling. I got to shout out to that, brother. You know, this ain't a slight to CD. This is just... The facts, you know, I feel like Dak Prescott feels that we from 
in the MVP conversation to, you know, half his fan base still does not believe in him, no matter what he's done. Playoff wins and all of those statistical accolades and, you know, owning almost <laughs> an amazing amount of passing records for the Cowboys already. You know, for, for, for Dak to still be doubted by his own fan base. Like, it's not even worth He can't even get to the haters yet. He has to get past his own fan base, then the haters, then the media. Like, it's crazy to me. So, you know, how you feel that, you know, Zeke had to come out and say, you know, well, go ahead and doubt me, bet against me, meaning that he already feels like the world is against him outside of the diehard fans. You know, and I'm not here to question anyone's fandom. That's not what this is about. This is just about the chips on our, our, our players' shoulders. You know, our offensive players, you know. I feel like it's a big deal. I know Amari Cooper has heard the chirps of, you know, where has he been? And, you know, get the ball to Coop. And there's people out there saying, you know, why are we paying Coop so much? And, you know, you got Michael Gallup, just the chip on his shoulder of just trying to establish himself as a receiver that should be considered up there with those other two gentlemen. You know, so... Looking at the, 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 the Pro Bowl selections, and I'm, I'm happy for the team, man. I think it's dope. You know, it's validation for some of our players. But there's some other players, you know, from like the Randy Gregory's, who didn't play enough probably to get considered, um, that are playoff, uh, Pro Bowl, not playoff, Pro Bowl caliber players. You know, people like Jerron Curse that probably didn't even get a consideration. You know, I feel like, the chip is firmly on their shoulder right before this push. Hey, <laughs> y'all hear my daughter in there. She don't care about nothing I'm doing. Um, yeah, man. I really feel like this is going to be good for the offense. You know, alpha males do alpha male things. You know what I'm saying? I feel like our offense has been buried by the media by more than half the fan base. And I feel like they're going to respond. That's it. I feel like they're going to respond. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments, man. I know y'all happy about the players getting selected. But do y'all feel like that this offense, it's time for them to respond? I do. It's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. I think I might go live tomorrow. I don't know. Live on Christmas Eve? Would y'all even tune into that? I know y'all got stuff to do with y'all families. Y'all let me know in the comments, man. Live on Christmas Eve. I'll holler.